So you have to show the story on your face. My name is Fabby Williams and I am the CEO and founder of Fab Dance and Fitness Academy. Dance has always been my passion. Um, it means life. It means living to your fullest potential. In dance, you can be any character. So you're also acting. You're also a storyteller. So dance is life. Today was a pretty normal day, I can actually say. I went to work, I work with kids, so today our school that we went to was Risa Middle School, and I worked and got to talk to the kids about setting some goals since it is the new year, our first time meeting in the schools this week. So we talked about goals, and then now I'm back at the studio, my home, where I also feel like I live, because I'm here all the time, ready to do some personal workouts, get ready for Batty Boot Camp, and... That'll be the end of my day. The spirit behind Fab Dance and Fitness Academy, at first it was a lot of fear because in my community, I'm from here as well. Even when I was growing up, I didn't see a lot of black girls doing jazz dance, tap, ballet, African, or even point. Um, and I've always wanted to create a place like that so it was a lot of fear at first but then it turned into hope hope that I could change the view of the arts in people's eyes today hope that I can instill regular traditional dance into students here today well it's like we need a drum roll or something because <laughs> Um, Fab Dance and Fitness Academy was voted and we're honored to be voted as the best fitness center and gym in the Rockford area. So that's amazing to me and I just feel so excited because I've only been training for about three years now. Dance has always been a passion of mine. Um, fitness kind of came through and really kind of sponsored my dance career. Um, it made my dream come true. I never planned to actually go into personal training when I was manifesting being a dance studio owner, but seeing where the money was and where the need was, people in my community also want to learn about health and they want to deal with trainers who are passionate and genuine and not just doing it for the money. So honestly, I am doing it for the money when I say that I was funding my dance career, but it, it's amazing. It's amazing to be nominated the best after finding a love for fitness because in dance you always have to work out. But I fell upon this love for fitness when I was introduced to Herbalife and that is a company that has been in business for about 40 years and I'm an independent distributor with them. So I sell shakes, teas, um, meal replacements, protein snacks. We even have a skincare line. And a lot of times I feel like as a business, I don't promote them all, but that was, that is what fitness has opened my mind to. All of these amazing different opportunities when it comes to health and wellness and then being able to support my dream. I think that FAB is very important to our community because it's a lot of different things that we do here. We don't just make the girls dance and make them attend our workout classes. We're trying to teach young ladies how important it is to care about your body at a young age because older women will always say, oh girl, you ain't going to be eating like that when you get older, you know, because it is harder to lose weight when you get older. It is harder to become active. So I think that Fab Dance and Fitness has been a community to kids and adults. And then I think it's instilling good, healthy habits in our community. All of our classes are very diverse. Um, there's no judgment zone. So we're encouraging everyone to come. It is very diverse. Even my dance studio, we have students who are black, African-American. We have Caucasian students. We have Puerto Rican, Mexican, um, all different kinds and shades of people are here. People coming to our workout classes. It's not just for blacks. And I think that when we talk about community as colored people, we have to include everyone because we are the people. For Fab in 2023, 
I just honestly feel like we got to step it up. Everybody is always saying how we go so hard, how we're so consistent. But being acknowledged as the best, it's one thing to always call yourself the best, to instill that personal confidence in your small business. But to actually be voted as the best over national gyms, one of my favorite things and my most shocking things about being elected as the best was seeing the YMCA on the same list as me. Little old me on the same list as the YMCA. And I love the YMCA and the YMCA has been amazing to Fab Dance and Fitness and they've invited us and we've done performances there and we've actually received some of our first news coverage with the YMCA. So just to be able to see that um, Fab Dance and Fitness just has to step it up. Like we think we're doing good, but the community is seeing what we're doing and they're understanding why our why here at Fab Dance and Fitness. Well, I'm going to go back to the question about a day in the life of Fab because the Influencer Game Day was crazy for me. Um, not only was I booked for the Influencer Game that day, I was booked for a show out of town in Florida and I was supposed to make it there and I didn't make it there. So the life of Fab is really crazy. Like everybody thinks I have it all together and I'm always doing things and it's good, but it's it's really crazy. So the Influencer Game, I was not able to actually experience the game itself but I had to catch my flight the game started late and I still ended up missing the flight so that's just something funny that I'm just gonna be honest and I'm just gonna share you can come in come in that's gonna be something that I just want to share and I'm just being honest but um, the game was amazing to be a part of at the beginning I was there I was there on time um, my dancers got to play basketball I got to see that that's not for them um, it was amazing just being in the community, we hosted a dance competition, so I got to see other dancers, got to recruit some dancers for the school. So it was just amazing. I feel like it was an amazing opportunity for me to keep working as an influencer and an ambassador. I love being an ambassador. If any businesses want to work with me, please do that. Right now, I'm actually rocking one of my ambassadors' hairstyles right now. Um, I also have a makeup artist that is full ambassador for me right now and I take my ambassadorship very serious because I know what it's like to support and be your own brand and to have other people trying to represent your brand you have to represent correctly and I think that's one reason why I do get booked at special events and certain type of events with churches and in the community because I know how to present myself and they know I'm gonna come they know I'm gonna stay so the first shout out I want to do um, is really I wouldn't be here without any of them today um, to my fitness instructors, we won, and I keep telling everybody as staff, even my students, we won. It would not be possible without you all. So all of my fitness instructors, Chanel, I'm going to introduce first because she's been with me the longest. Batty Boot Camp, that's my girl. That's one of our littest classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6.30 to 7.30. Catch her at Fab Dance and Fitness or virtually. And then I have my Zumba instructor, Alyssa. Her class is every Saturday at 9 a.m. Come and join Alyssa's Zumba is different, y'all. It's lit, okay? So if you never enjoyed a Zumba class, come try her out. And then last but definitely not least, someone I'm very thankful to have is my first male trainer, Reese Cobain. You can find him on Facebook. And his class is every Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. And it's co-ed because we want to let men know that Fab Dance and Fitness is also a place for you. So after shouting out my fitness instructors who I was able to celebrate this great win with for best fitness center and gym, I just want to thank my family. If my family didn't instill all of the things into me that they did, I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. I wouldn't have the headstrong abilities and be so outgoing if they didn't instill that in me. And I just want to thank my mom for taking me and moving me away um, so I can see a different life, so I can get a different feel of how things are in other places, so I can be exposed to different things. And then God, God created my family. He blessed me with my parents. He blessed me with a support system. And he put me in the position. One thing that I always tell everyone is to pray for guidance because I'm big on that. I've always wanted to know what exactly am I supposed to be doing. I always wanted to be walking in my purpose. So I just first and foremost thank God because without him and without me paying for praying for guidance because he got me here. That's all I can say is he led the way. 
He put the people in my path from my mentors from Atlanta, instilling dance in me, giving me the opportunity to dance. I was not fortunate enough to afford dance growing up, um, but my mom, she moved away and we got connected with people who, who believed in me, people who were genuine, genuine. And I'm just thankful. I'm sorry. I'm all tongue tied. But I appreciate everybody that has played a role in my life. And if I forgot anybody, trust and believe, you know that it's from the heart and charge it to my heart, head, not the heart, whatever. I don't know. (sighs) It's all a lot. It's been a lot, but I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for all of it. Some days I still can't even believe it. I started working out outside hosting free workouts at Mississippi Park, then moving to personal sessions so I could raise money. So I'm just thankful for everybody who supported the dream when it was just a dream.